Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are well to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Algeria have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. the whistle Jim who do you reckon is pivotal well Radamel Falcao is the one he's been blessed with an awesome array of, of finishing skills then when you factor in his, his stealthy movement and his instinct for position you end up with a lethal lethal concoction yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team Pops it in gently. Sanchez is there and he can get that clear. Great leap! That's a half decent try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Quadrado. Neither side yet able to find the net. Lovely feet. So who's he picking out? A loose ball and it's James Rodriguez up to meet it he's done well to get his head on that but couldn't score I have to commend the wing play but I have to condemn the defending they've got to stop the cross James Rodriguez. Gets wrestled off the ball. Falcao.
up towards the front line. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. Keeper's ball. Arias. Quadrado. Mina. Quintero. And here's Falcao, battles to win it back. And it's played forward. And the first 45 minutes are up. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil there. So we're already into the second period. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. A really good feat. All driven towards the far post. Oh, it's die-hard defence, and the willingness to put his body on the line, very impressive. towards the front men uh, ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance Quadrado <laughs> it is still anyone's game nil nil Lerma Arias Lerma Rodriguez, oh, nice touch. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Well, I'm a believer in having faith in your ability, but he's overdone it then. With a delicate ball going through. It's come loose. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Sanchez, Sanchez plays it towards the front. Looking to hit the front line, cuts it out. Quintero. As scoreless games go, I'd be happy to see this one carry on a bit longer because it's had great honesty and hard work and total commitment. As for a possible winner, I'm still not predicting. That's great strength on the ball. Well, both sides might have to settle for it. And there goes the final whistle. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. A little craft or guile or penetration. Defences largely untroubled, it's goals.